Hello, I'm Atuba George and welcome to a beautiful new week. Praise God. Now, God's love is going to be showered on you this week. And I'm saying this to you because it is true. The Spirit of God is showering God's love upon your life. And let me tell you, get ready. Things you have been expecting will happen this week. Praise God. And that's why I'm bringing you this truth. Praise God. Now, I want to share something. Uh, you know, with you this week. And last week we were talking about first things first, and we're going to taking it a step further this week. And I'm going to be reading to you from First Timothy chapter three and verse fourteen and fifteen. And it says, "These things I write to you, though I hope to come to you shortly. But if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself." in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of truth. Praise God. Now he says, I'm writing these things to you so that you will know how to conduct yourself in the house of God. See? So there is a way to conduct yourself in the house of God. Now, when he was talking about the house of God, let me read this from the Amplified Version so you understand it better. You know, Amplify makes it louder. Praise God. So he says, let me just read from verse 15. It says, if I am detained, you may know how people ought to conduct themselves in the household of God. See? Now, so when he's talking about the household of God, or when he's talking about the house of God, don't be limited to the thinking he's talking about that one single denominational church. No, he's talking to you, he's talking to, to us as a bunch of Christians, see? Because we all belong to the household of God. So he's talking about these people around you that you believe are Christians. Maybe you go to the same church. Maybe you live in the same environment. Maybe you walk in the same place. This, this bunch, you know, you, you understand what I'm talking about? This bunch that believe you are Christians. Wherever you find yourself, you form the household of God. Now he says, I'm writing these things to you so that you people will, you people ought to conduct yourself you people, that you may know how people ought to conduct themselves in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and stay. In brackets, it says the prop and support of truth. The pillar and stay of truth. See, the, 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 the household of God, the reason we are here, that's the reason God did not take us out the day we got born again. It's for a reason. And what's that reason? It's so that we will establish truth on the earth. Now, God is truth. See? And then he releases his truth into us. The world does not know the truth about God. Or they don't even know him. See? Jesus said the world will hate you. And the reason the world will hate you is because they don't know me. See, so don't expect everybody to behave normally. Don't expect everybody to behave well. But you that have come to the house of God, he's saying to you that you need to know how to conduct yourself in the house of God or in the household of God amongst believers. You need to know how to conduct yourself. So there is a way of conduct. Now notice what he said. He said, these things I write to you. Question then is, what things? Hey, praise God. So what has he written? What is he talking about? So we don't just take the scripture out of context and say uh, that you know how to conduct yourself in the house of God. So how do you conduct yourself in the house of God? He said, I have written these things to you for this purpose. So we are going to be talking about some of these things um, this week. Praise God. And I trust the Spirit of God to open your understanding. I trust the Spirit of God to open your eyes. I trust the Spirit of God to impact His, His truth inside of you. So the, the, you who is a member of the church, you who Jesus said you are the light of the world, may begin to exude that light that He has placed inside of us. And then we'll bring glory to the earth. We'll bring God's life to the earth and sanitize the earth. If we don't sanitize the earth, trust me, the darkness in the earth will only increase. But you know what? 
That's why we are here. So watch out for this week and everything we're going to be talking about this week, which I'm going to go into tomorrow. And trust the Spirit of God to bless you. I want to pray for you this morning. I pray that the Spirit of God guide your steps today. I pray that the Holy Spirit will instruct you in the way that you will profit today. And I pray that your hearts will be open to hear His voice and good will come to you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even as I'm praying, I'm seeing somebody being healed of a heart trouble. There's a problem with your heart that's causing you to breathe hard. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that sickness, I command that, that defect to be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed. Stretch out yourself, just stretch yourself. And the Spirit of God has healed you, praise God. And, and let me hear about that, praise God. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful week ahead and God bless you. Bye-bye.